Hello, my name is Rahila Slim, and I'm going to talk to you today about using escape rooms linked to QR codes for independent learning and adaptive teaching. What are QR codes? Well, they're barcodes that you can actually uh, place resources onto a website and create a URL code for, and then create a barcode which can be used by other people to access those resources. Below are given some uh, different types that we've actually used in the past to create QR codes for. How can we use QR codes in schools? Well, we can share exemplars with students for exam questions or six mark questions that they've completed. Uh, we can use them in lessons where students can actually go to different learning stations around the room. They can collaborate and work independently on tasks using QR codes. Students can check their answers after they've actually completed a test or assignment. They can actually uh, work on optional activities or extension assignments when the rest of the class is still working on the lesson. Um, they can actually create QR codes for research that they've actually completed, which they can then share with other students within the classroom based on a topic that they've been researching. In science, we've used QR codes for dissections or interactive labs or experiments so that extra questions can be asked for the different experiments and the teacher can actually focus on different groups of students rather than uh, asking all the students the questions in one go. So it allows the students to be more independent so they can actually get on with their work and go through the lesson at their own pace. QR codes can be used for formative feedback, uh, intervention can be given based on the feedback given, um, and intervention can be again uh, created and shared in the form of a QR code. Um, instructions can be differentiated for students and we can actually re uh, share resources with parents again through the form of a QR code. Here's some examples that I've used in the classroom. So here, students were using QR codes to research information quickly and then sharing it with other people within their group. In this example, a QR code was used to link different exam questions which were then given to students based on uh, their ability. So the task could be differentiated based on the QR code that the child actually receives. In this example, QR codes were used to link keywords relating to lab equipment, which students needed for planning a practical. This uh, increased the engagement of students because they actually found it uh, a very challenging, uh, fun activity, which they wanted to actually uh, try and complete first. So it was very competitive in nature and it was an excellent lesson that students enjoyed very well. Um, literacy was improved during this session as well because students learnt the correct names of the lab equipment and were able to spell those correctly as well. In this example, a demonstration was being done on distillation and students were given QR codes where they could then access questions based on the demonstration and they could actually show their understanding of the practical. So this can be used for required practicals. Students take ownership of their own learning. We can actually use pictures and QR codes relating to required pr practicals as displays, which students in uh, year 10 and 11 use for their GCSEs. So it actually uh, improves uh, revision strategies for students. Year teams can actually use QR codes to uh, create uh, quizzes. They can actually link letters that are being sent home to students and parents in the form of a QR code, again, saving money uh, on photocopying. So during lockdown, how did I use QR codes? Well, we needed to be able to actually assess our students. So what I did was I created uh, Google quizzes um, I had Google quizzes in the form of tests, but also escape rooms. And the escape room idea came about because one of my students in year 11 uh, who had anxiety was not able to engage with the lessons that we were setting online. And so she had emailed me saying that she couldn't cope with the work. So what I did was I created a QR, QR code for her that linked to her escape room, which was based on the lesson that she was meant to be doing anyway. But I actually made sure that the escape room structured the learning for her and gave her a variety of activities. So what, what are escape rooms? Well, they're basically Google form quizzes with structured activities and multiple choice questions which students complete. Videos, quizzes and websites can be linked into the escape room to help students understand new concepts or revisit prior learning. 
The quizzes are created with, with sections which stop students from moving forward until they answer questions correctly, hence having to escape the room. So we've used these escape rooms to actually revise uh, students' prior knowledge, differentiate resources for the lessons, uh, adaptive teaching. So for example, if I'm actually teaching a lesson, but I've got students who are uh, need extra time on a certain part of the lesson on a certain task, I can actually give them a QR code that takes them to a escape room where they can actually look at more information based on the task or the concept in more detail. And then once they've completed that, they can then rejoin the rest of the lesson to carry on with where the rest of the students are. So during uh, lockdown, we actually used it to engage students. Uh, you can actually use it for retrieval practice, for clubs, independent learning, uh, team works, so, and students can actually create their own QR code related escape rooms. So it actually helps improve students' ICT skills and you can actually model revision strategies in an escape room. So you can actually show them the way to actually revise from the beginning of the escape room to the end. What was the impact? Well, there was a high level of student engagement. All students were able to access the escape rooms and learn at their own pace. The resources can be shared within the department, so decreasing workload. It reduces the impact of Eben House's forgetting curve, encourages students to become independent and resilient learners, improves both students' and teachers' ed tech skills. It's also a fun learning experience which, which students and teachers enjoy. Um, it increases students' creativity because students can also create escape rooms for themselves and share with other students and it helps with the mastering of memory and fluency of knowledge. If you actually base the escape rooms on prior knowledge and you actually scaffold revision within, in, within the escape room, it will actually help students remember more content for, from their lessons. Okay, so here's your turn. So if you actually scan the QR code with your camera, you'll be able to actually access one of my escape rooms that you can actually try out. Thank you for watching my presentation. Have a good day.